Hi, it's Tanya with Red Kernel Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to knit a basic dishcloth. Now, this is going to be a beginner lesson, so if you've never knit before, um, this is for you. If you've knit before and you just want to watch, go ahead. <laughs> but I'm just going to do this as a beginner lesson. I just thought if someone just wants to go out and buy one of these small balls of yarn this weekend and a pair of knitting needles and just get started with a little project that you can get done. I did this this morning. Um, they go really quick, but it's just a good way to get started with knitting and a great thing to show your kids. It's something small. It's something useful that they can um, that they can make and it's really quick and very easy. So um, the way the pattern goes, it makes this little hole coming down all the sides so it's pretty fancy, um, but just a neat way to, um, to you know, get started with knitting. So these needles that I bought, um, I've been wanting to try these for a long time and I finally just went and bought a pair. Like, I was like, what am I waiting for? <laughs> um, they're bamboo and they're by Clover. And the size is a number 7 or a 4.5 millimeter. And the length is a 9 inch or 23 centimeters. I don't like long knitting needles. I mean, it depends on the project you're doing, but I just prefer the shorter ones. Um, so I just figured I would try these and give it a go and see if I like them. About two minutes into knitting, I've made the decision that I now want to replace all my knitting needles with bamboo. I really like them. They're smooth. They're generally quiet. Um, which my sister will appreciate because uh, we went for um, a little road trip there last summer and I was knitting a pair of socks with aluminum needles and I was driving her crazy. <laughs> so Annette, they're quiet. Okay, so I've switched to bamboo. Um, the yarn I bought is just this. It's um, the Lily. It's sugar and cream twists. This one's called green twists. Um, I took the label off it because usually these small balls of yarn that you get, you do get the dishcloth um, pattern on it but this one had the crochet one. So there is a crochet pattern in there, but I wanted um, a knitting pattern. So there you go. Um, so I just went online and looked it up because I haven't made these for years. Um, and I was like, oh my God, I remember how fast and quick these are to do. And like I said, they're fun to do and they're great as dishcloths. They're really good. So make one and um, see what you think. But yeah, you can get them soapy and they stretch a little bit and you wring them out, but they're cool. So I just grabbed that last night because um, I was out and I figured I'd just grab a ball of yarn, but I knew I had some at home, which is this one. Same yarn, but this one's called Burn Board Twists. And this is like a, it's like a red and a taupe and a cream and a white all in here. And when you buy your yarn, if this is the first time you're knitting and you've never done this before, just there's a piece of yarn that's going to go around the ball on the outside. And I usually grab that and tuck it in underneath because it drives me crazy. Don't pull from that yarn. You pull from the inside. And sometimes what you have to do is just kind of dig into the ball of yarn and you end up pulling out this wad of yarn, but you will find the end of it. Um, in there. Sometimes on the actual ball of yarn, it'll point, there'll be a little arrow pointing to the direction of which end you're supposed to pull the yarn from, but then your ball isn't rolling all over the place because you're just pulling from the center, okay? So there you go, a little yarn tip for you there. Okay, so I'm just going to get you started with this. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to hopefully look up every once in a while to make sure I'm actually on camera. Okay, leave about a four inch tail because if you just leave it too short, then that's gonna hang out from your dishcloth. Um, I had two tails, obviously, for the beginning and the end of mine, and I've wound them in. I've woven them all in through, so you can't even see where I started or where I ended. So just leave a little bit of a tail. Now, to cast on your stitches, just kind of hold your tail up against your needle like that. Hang on, I'm in too close now. Okay, so to cast on your stitches, you can just wind them around your finger like that and you loop them onto your knitting needle. So it's just kind of doing that. Okay, so there's one. And just kind of hold it with your other hand. Sorry, this is right-handed knitting. I don't know how to do left-handed knitting, so... Alright, so then just wind it around again and loop it over, and then wind it around again, and loop it over. So that's how you get your stitches onto your needle. Now you can cast them on by knitting. So you just leave that first, just do that first loop onto your needle, and 
just hold it on there. Now you just take your your right-handed needle, put it under the loop, and you're just going to wind your yarn through the two needles. You're going to, I always tend to give that guy a little push, push it down. You can see the loop is now on your right-handed needle. Just let go a little bit and place it onto your left-handed needle and pull. And now you've got two stitches on there. So to do that again, just go around, make sure you leave that loop on your right-handed needle and just place it over top of the other one. Okay? So that's if you want to cast them on with your needle. But you can just cast them on with your finger. So just wind it around and you're just looping them on. Okay? So I have three stitches and what we're going to do for this first row is we're just going to do um, knit. And the whole pattern is just straight knitting. Back and forth. There's no purl. Okay, so we just go under that loop. So you go in from this direction. I worry if when I zoom in too much that I'm going to go off camera. Okay, and then also this. Here, let me just zoom out again. For holding your yarn, I do this whole put my three fingers under, it goes around my pinky, it's back over my fingers and around my pointy finger. It's just a habit I have and that's just how I hold my yarn. You'll get comfortable with how you want to hold your yarn. For now, if you just want to let it hang there and you physically, you know, pull your yarn over and then drop it again to work this part, go for it. It's just whatever is comfortable for you and you're just going to get used to how you end up holding your yarn in your hand. Some people hold their needles different. It's whatever is comfortable for you and whatever works. Okay? So we're just going to zoom back in a little bit. Okay, so go underneath, wrap your yarn around. This time we're going to just do this, leave it on this needle, and remember how we were looping it up to cast on? Okay, don't do that. Just leave it like this, and we're actually taking this loop off of the left hand needle because we've just put it onto the right hand needle, so we don't need it on the left hand one anymore. Okay, so we'll do that again. So under, around, push it down, make sure you don't lose those loops off of there. If you do, no big deal, you just, look, if I went like that and went, oh god, what did I just do? We've lost one of our stitches, put it back on, and just start over, okay? So we're going to knit around, we're putting it onto the left-handed needle, and we're pulling it off, or we're putting it... <laughs> Let me start over, I don't want to confuse you. Which I'm sure I'm doing a good job of. Okay, so there's our three stitches. So we're going to knit, we're going to wrap it around, we're going to it's now on our right-handed needle and we're pulling off the left-handed one. Okay, so just do that for all three. Like that, and then one more. Like that. So now we have all three stitches on our right-handed needle now. But we're going to switch hands, move the loaded needle over to the left hand now. Okay. Make sure you're not knitting from the tail. Keep that out of the way. All right, so now this time we're going to knit two stitches. So we're going to knit one, and we're going to knit the second one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. Now to yarn over, it's going to be shown as Y-O, and that just stands for yarn over. So you're just going to bring your yarn around. Your needles are separate from each other. We've just finished that st that second stitch. We're going to yarn over. So you're just bringing the yarn around the back and through to the front. Just ignore what's going to happen with that. Go back in and knit that last stitch. And you're going to let it go off with the left-handed needle. And what we did by yarning over is we just put an extra stitch on our needle, so we now have four stitches. Cool. I know. All right. So now put the loaded needle over into your left hand. Now we're going to go back in and we're going to knit two stitches. So you just knit those first two stitches, yarn over and knit to the end. It's the same thing. We just keep repeating it for as big as you want your dishcloth. Okay, so there's our two stitches. We're going to yarn over and we're going to knit 
the rest of the stitches. So there's one, and there's two, and now we have five stitches on our needle. Okay, switch hands, and again, same thing. Knit the first two stitches, one, two, yarn over, you're just twisting the yarn around that needle, and knit the next stitches. And what this is doing is it's increasing our stitches and doing that yarn over is creating a little gap and it's going to create, so you're going to see a hole there, don't panic, it's supposed to do that. That's what's giving us these little holes. Okay. So now we have six stitches on the needle. So now knit two. So the only time you do straight knitting across is that very first time. Once you get your stitches cast on, then you knit that first row, which is just those first three stitches. After that, you just knit the first two, you yarn over, and knit to the end. Okay, now we have seven stitches. Switch hands. Knit two. yarn over, and knit to the end. And that's all it is. Now, um, you can do 50 stitches. Keep going until you have 50 stitches on your needle. You can do, I did 42. That's how big I did mine. Why I picked 42, I have no idea. I just kept going and I figured it was a good time to stop. Um, but this, this is the size of mine. That's using 42 stitches. You can go as big or as little as you want. Um, you could go little and just make coasters. So when you knit, it's actually going to be like this. Okay, so you're going to knit and it's going to keep getting wider and wider and wider up your knitting needle. And then we're going to de decrease. So just keep going. Um, now I'm going to keep going until I get 42 stitches on here again. What I'm actually going to do <laughs> in real time is I'm going to turn the camera off and go get my kids at school. Uh, but when I come back, I'll um, continue on. And I'll meet back up with you when we're at this point. Well, it'll look like this, but when we're at that point and we have 42 stitches um, going across. Okay, so just keep going. Knit two, yarn over, knit to the end. Just keep repeating it. Okay, <laughs> gotta get the kids. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I have half of this done now. I don't want to push it all the way to the end so it doesn't fall off, but I have 42 stitches um, going across here now. So now we're gonna start. Um, going back down. So we're going to have to decrease. So what you're going to do is you're going to knit the first one like that. You're going to knit two together. So you're going to go, instead of going under this first loop, let me just move this out of the background so it's not distracting. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so instead of going under the first loop like you've been doing, we're going to go under both loops of those two stitches. So we're going to knit one, go under those two, we're going to knit like normal, but you're just flipping them off. So you've now turned those two stitches into one stitch. Then you're going to yarn over like we've been doing before, and that makes that little hole, it makes the little gap going around like that. Then we're going to knit two together again, like this. You're going to go around like that, and we've turned those two into one stitch, okay? And then you're just going to knit to the end. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end. We're just going to turn again, and we're just going to repeat this for every row till we're at the end. So again, we just knit one, we knit two together, Then we yarn over, we knit two together again. Remember, don't pull your stitches too tight because then it makes it too hard to, um, to knit. And we just keep going. And you can see that it's going to start to turn the corner and head back that way because we're decreasing. Okay, so just repeat that every row. So it's just knit one, knit two together, yarn over, 
knit two together and then keep going to the end. Okay, so you can see I've gone down a few stitches so there's less on the needle and you can see that it's turned the corner once I started decreasing like that by knitting two stitches together that's what it does. So we're just coming down the turn I'm gonna go all the way to the point and when I get down to the last probably six stitches um, on the needle I'll come back and I'll show you how to cast off. All right. Okay so I'm just coming up to the end I have six stitches on here so I'm just gonna show you how to just kind of get to the end and finish this off. So we're still doing knit one, knit two together, yarn over, two together, and then one at the end. So you just kind of keep going with that as far as you can. So knit one, knit two together, yarn over, and then knit the last two. So it's kind of as far as you can go with that pattern at this point. So now you have four stitches left on your needle. Oops. So now we're going to cast off. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Alright, so you're going to knit one, knit the next one, but then you take your needle back in and take that first stitch and flip it over the needle and then off. And it just kind of hangs down here. So now you've got a total of three stitches. Do the same with the next one. So you, you knit, take that other stitch that's on the right, flip it off. Don't let that loop come off of the needle. And then you've got two stitches left. You do it one more time. Take that last stitch second last stitch I guess. And you flip it like that and now you're left with one stitch on your needle and all you do is you get your scissors, leave again like about a four inch tail and then you just make your loop and just pull that piece right in through there and then that's it. And you just have to shape it because it gets stretched and moved around. And then you're just going to take these ends, because this is where you started, this is where you finished, and you just kind of, you can get a crochet hook to do this. I just usually use this one and just kind of pull it through, find another section, pull it through again, and just do that. And I kind of just go down the side here a little bit and just kind of weave it all in. But there you go, there's a little dishcloth that you can use in the kitchen. And so we've got the red one and we've got the green one. So there you go, bamboo needles, enjoyable. All right, have a good weekend. See ya.